All right, for today's video review, we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Beast Wars Basic Class Razor Claw, a, uh, a very cool little figure here. Now, there are a few different versions of Razor Claw. Uh, the original one that was released in 1997, actually, all of these maroon bits were like a dark translucent blue, and then a lot of the uh, the turquoise bits were orange. Um, and I, I've never really liked that color scheme. I feel like the translucent blue just kind of eats a lot of the sculpted detail on the top here but in the next year in 1998 they did a second release of this figure with like a VHS copy of like some episodes of Beast Wars that was done in this color scheme and then this color scheme was also used in the Japanese toy line to be the maximal Rockbuster. So I, I just preferred this one. I think technically this figure in and of itself is actually Rockbuster because when you look at the little, you know, rub sign Energon chip, it is a maximal symbol. But I prefer to think of it as Razor Claw because, you know, the figure that was also released as Razor Claw and I just like this figure better as a Predacon. But you can kind of do whichever way you'd like. But yeah, no, I really like the crab mode here. I just think that this color scheme really uses the detail a lot better. Um, the one thing that I don't really like about the crab mode and the one little edit that I have made to the figure is I don't really like how the back legs are just the robot mode legs and just kind of stick awkwardly out the back like this like they don't look anything like the other legs here um, and I've found that if you flip them over uh, if you take this piece right here there's uh, this little peg that goes into the screw hole right there for transformation and uh, if you have that unhooked you can actually rotate these legs around so they sit just underneath like this, um, which then prevents this piece from fully pegging in. But what I've done here is I've kind of just cut off uh, half of the tip of the peg here so it can still get into that spot but just isn't technically pegged in all the way like it actually can sit all the way if you cut that peg in half but it stays just fine um, and then these legs can just kind of hide underneath and I feel like that looks a lot better as a little crab mode granted it does mean that he has the incorrect number of legs because crabs are supposed to have four legs uh, before the claws but uh, still you know it, it I think that this uh, this this still works a lot better for me it just makes for a lot more of a uh, compact kind of clean crab mode in my opinion and the uh, the back of the leg detail here I think kind of rounds out the uh, the back of the crab really nicely so that's how I prefer to do it but you know to each his own um, but yeah he turns into a little fiddler crab and it's a pretty decent mode uh, all things considered in terms of articulation uh, the arms will of course just end up being the robot mode arms so the uh, the shoulders are on ball joints here which can rotate around uh, the elbows are on ball joints there's also a separate elbow hinge on this side and then this uh, this claw can open up like that and there's actually a little bit of a gimmick that uh, if you take this little green spike right here and then fold it out it kind of folds out more spikes which is kind of a a, a neat gimmick there and then on this side the other annoyingly the claw is actually faced the opposite direction like this one is up and down and this one is side to side which is a little weird but uh, the shoulder and the elbow are still on ball joints and then if you open this one up there's a little gun on the inside so kind of neat little features there and then technically I guess you can kind of give him a uh, jaw articulation because the robot mode head just ends up kind of becoming the lower jaw so you can kind of hinge it up and down a little bit just because it's on the you know the ball joint for articulation in robot mode so that kind of counts but yeah and then again if you have these legs kind of facing how they're originally supposed to uh, then they also have a bit of articulation in and out but I prefer to keep them underneath just like that um, but yeah in terms of comparisons in this mode just for the standard one here he is with kingdom sideswipe and his robot mode and for the uh, modern you know core class beast wars figures here he is with rat trap but yeah to get on to transformation uh, obviously you just want to fold this panel up and then you know if you have the legs around like this or around like this you just want to straighten them out at the knee there and then unfold the uh, the feet pretty simple transformation on this guy you want to take these two parts of the shell and they'll actually hinge up like this which creates enough space for you to take the legs and actually fold them to the back just to be kind of back kibble which then allows you to kind of rotate the arms down and give them space to breathe and then you just take the little head here and it just slides up a little bit and there we have razor claw in his robot mode or rockbuster if you prefer like i said uh, this is where the spark crystal is and on mine it is the maximal symbol so it's supposed to be rockbuster but i, I just like it better uh, as razor claw myself um but but yeah, no, pretty good looking little robot mode here. Obviously, a lot of the crab stuff just ends up kind of on the back as kibble, but I, I think that he wears it well, all things considered. I'd say the one thing that I really don't like about the robot mode is the way the feet were done, just because 
the way that they're shaped, there's always just like a little bit of wobble to them, which is a bit annoying. It would have been nice if maybe the feet were on ball joints so that he could get just like a little bit of ankle tilt so that his uh, feet could actually sit firmly on the ground just because because they have that rounded shape when they sit on the edges, they want to like wobble back and forth, uh, which is a little bit annoying, but it's not too terrible to get him to stand. It's just a little bit more wobbly than I'd prefer. Um, but yeah, in terms of articulation, the, uh, the head is on a ball joint, like I said, so you can rotate it around like that and then kind of w wobble it back and forth. Shoulders are still on ball joints, obviously. Uh, elbow is on ball joints, which gives him a bicep swivel. He can open this hand to reveal the little gun, just like before. Uh, because this one is faced this way, technically that does mean that this arm does have the gorilla elbow thing going on, which is a little bit annoying, but I, I feel like he kind of gets away with it a little bit more because it's a big claw anyway. Um, but yeah, same articulation as before. Uh, legs are on ball joints, which can rotate around like that. Knees are on ball joints, which gives him a little bit of thigh swivel, but not a ton because they kind of run into these pieces. Um, gets a little bit over 90 degrees of bend at the knee there. And then the uh, the ankle or the heel and the uh, the toe are kind of can move independently, but you know, you, you can't get the flat foot to move either forward or back. So it's not super useful. Um, but yeah, in terms of comparisons in this mode, here he is again with side swipe and here he is again with rat trap just for those standard size comparisons there. Um, but yeah, you know, not a whole lot else to say about this figure. I really like him. I much prefer this deco to the blue and orange one. I just feel like it has a lot more fun detail. Like it actually has a painted pattern on the shell, whereas like there's some sort of like subtle effect of the, uh, the shell on uh, on the original one and you get a little bit of like the orange peeking through from the uh, the translucent plastic but still I just feel like this one really uses its surface space a lot better and really gives a nice more sort of like interesting looking crab mode and uh, yeah I uh, allegedly there are some differences in deco between uh, between Rockbuster, which this figure is, and that VHS copy one. At least that's what it says on TF Wiki. But then again, also on TF Wiki, they literally use the exact same image to show uh, this version versus Rockbuster. So I can't really compare them. I'm pretty sure this is the Rockbuster version because of that maximal symbol, but I, I can't really say that for sure. But either way, it's neat that there's a couple different decos of this figure because I really feel like you know, part of the reason I really like this figure is because of that maroon, orange, and turquoise deco. I don't think that I would be quite as enamored with it if I had the blue and orange version. It's just not, doesn't really look as good to me, at least in images. I also like that he's got the kind of, you know, pink painted on the underside of the shell here. I feel like that adds a little bit more detail as well. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much all there is to him. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I do reviews every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Make sure to check me out on my Instagram account. That's toys.n.art. Without further ado, here we have Transformers Beast Wars Razor Claw slash Rockbuster.